So I just wanted to do um, a little in-depth um, video on the akimbo. Um, I get so many people asking just generally about the device um, and how it works. Um, you know, so many people can't quite dial it in. Um, but basically, the way I've the way I've kind of got the settings, essentially the top one is almost like how how responsive it is it is to go down and then the bottom one is the actual speed in which you move and that is the the kind of feeling that i've got i mean i've tried setting the top one uh which is the the um the letters if you put it on a which is the least friction but then have the bottom one which is the numbers on so seven is the most then it will release really really quick you press it and this collapses but then you actually move really slow so if you kind of keep that in mind that helped me kind of dial it in so even if you go onto another rope if you have that in mind then that is that kind of helps helps you set it um, i mean i don't really need to change this at all to be honest like the the setting that i've got it on now um, which I use for the Squire Ecstatic and I've just got the Drea, the Tango. Um, I've got it on D on the top one and then the bottom one is on five. So yeah, and I pretty much check, like leave it on that setting, but that's pretty much my understanding of the uh, how the friction works. Um, so yeah, if anyone is getting, is just having problems with it, then maybe just try that put the top one on maybe a middle setting and then just play around with the bottom one until it stops slipping. Um, but yeah, that is how I kind of set this um, and I don't really need to change it at all. Um, and then all I've done is put one of the DMM grommets here with one of the uh, DMM uh, Perfect O, the really small carabiner, um, just to keep this really sort of compact. Um, but yeah, still using it, still loving it. Um, definitely my favorite device. Um, but yeah, so that's the akimbo.